Hey everybody, Richard Pie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install RetroArch on the Android side of your Ambernic RG552 handheld video game console. So just opening up my different applications and emulators here that are already pre-installed on my Ambernic RG552, you can actually see that RetroArch is already installed on here. Now this is going to be the Play Store version though. So if we went into Play Store here and we were to type in RetroArch, which is right here, you can see that it gives me the option to open it up and play it. This is because this is where it was actually downloaded from. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of this page real quick and we're going to jump back in here and we're going to hold down RetroArch right here. We're just going to hold it down to open up the application menu and we're going to actually uninstall it. Now you don't need to do this if you don't already have RetroArch pre-installed on your Ambernic RG552, but some people have it, some people don't. I happen to have it here, so I'm going to uninstall this version. So now it's going to ask us, do you want to uninstall this app? We're going to just select OK. So here it's going to fully uninstall. And the reason we're doing this again is because I'm not crazy about the version that you get through the Google Play Store. I'd rather have the full version, which is a more stable version, which we can easily access and download through the RetroArch website. So we're going to let it do its thing here and fully uninstall. And just like that, it's fully uninstalled from our device. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go up here to our Chrome. And uh, we're going to type in, we can either put it right into Google or up here. And we're just going to go to the RetroArch website, which is www.retroarch.com. There it is, it automatically populates in. And this is the website. So once we get here, if we scroll down, you can actually go up to the uh, download tab across the top. But if we scroll down a little bit, there's an option to get RetroArch. So we're going to just click on that. And they do place a lot of ads in here, which are super easy to click. I think they kind of place those like that on purpose. So just scroll down to where you have the option to download different versions. Here it says download stable here on the second tab. So we're going to click that. That's the version that I want to download today. And we're going to hit download here. Now I've actually already downloaded this, which is why you can see in parentheses, it says one here. So I'm not going to download it again, but just to show you guys what you need to do, you're just going to hit download, it's going to do its thing. So I'm just going to go up here to my downloads tab and access this and here it is right here, it's going to be that retroarch dot APK. So we're going to just click on this. Now you may need to go into the settings on your actual device and enable the option to download from unknown sources. It just depends how yours was uh, pre-configured before you actually received it. Mine, I didn't have to do that, but I do know for a fact that some other devices um, do require you to make that manual change. So here it's just gonna ask us, do you wanna install this application? It does not require any special access. We're just gonna hit install. It's gonna do its thing here, it should take you know, a couple of minutes to fully install. So we're gonna let it do its thing. So here we go, app fully installed. That actually only took a few seconds. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer than it did. So we're just gonna hit open now. And it says here, you need to grant access to read an external storage, write external storage. So we're just gonna hit okay. Allow RetroArch access to photos, media, and files on your device. Sure, we'll allow that. All right, so here we are into RetroArch. It's going to extract everything, which you can see a little progress bar on the bottom. It's only gonna take about 30 or 40 seconds to fully advance through all of this um, extraction process. And then we will have full access to RetroArch. So we're gonna let it continue this process here real quick. And I'll show you that everything has fully downloaded in just a few seconds. All right, our extraction is complete. We got a little confirmation here. So everything has been fully extracted and now we have full access to RetroArch here. So I'm gonna actually close this out now just to show you guys how it looks now on our um, you know, main page here on this device. So let me just get rid of these windows here. All right, and here we go. You can see that we have our RetroArch icon now here on our Ambernic RG552. It looks exactly the same as it did before, but it is a different version than what we found in the Google Play Store. So this may change over time, but at the time of this video, at least, it is a different version than what was already installed on here through that Google Play Store option. And I do find it to just be a little bit more stable and reliable. So that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully this was a help to you guys. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comments section of this video. Always happy to help you guys out any way that I possibly can. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button for me. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Pie Guy YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.